evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Thursday, 8 July. I'm Curtis Moore. In our headlines, Tucson to represent SKN at Tokyo Olympics. And in our feature for this evening, back to the archives and horse racing fans will be really happy. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. Well, I'm back and we start with athletics. Two St. Kitts and Nevis athletes have qualified for the Tokyo Olympics 2020, Jason Rogers and Amia Clark. They both would represent St. Kitts and Nevis in the 100 meters at this year's Tokyo Olympics. The announcement was made by the SKNOC, St. Kitts Nevis Olympic Committee. This would be Jason's third Olympic Games and he would be competing in the men's 100 meters while Olympic debutant Amia would take part in the women's 100 meters. Both of the athletes and coach Justin Gavanagh leave for Tokyo on July 19th while Lester Hanley, an executive member of the SKNOC, would be traveling in the capacity of chef de mission. Hanley would travel ahead of the team to prepare for the arrival of the other members of the SKN Olympic team. He would leave the Federation on Sunday, July 11th and would arrive in Tokyo on Tuesday, July 13th. We certainly want to wish Jason and Amir all the best as they represent the Federation, hopefully bringing back two medals as well. Now to cricket. Cricket West Indies Women's Selection Panel yesterday named the 13-member West Indies Women's Squad for the first and second matches of the five-match CG Insurance One Day International Series against Pakistan, being hosted in Antigua. The first two matches would have been one of them would have been played on Wednesday, July 7th, and the other one is set for tomorrow, July 9th, Friday, at the Coolidge Cricket Grounds. The selection panel also named the 14-member West Indies women's A-team squad to play Pakistan women's A-team in the first of the free match 50-over series starting on Saturday, July 10th at the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium before shifting to the Coolidge Cricket Grounds for the remaining two matches on Tuesday, July 13th and Friday, July 16th. The West Indies women's squad reads Stephanie Taylor captain, Anissa Mohammed vice captain, Ailea Aleen, Shamelia Connell, Brittany Cooper, DeAndre Dottin, Kanisha Isaac, Kesia Knight, Kishona Knight, Haley Matthews, Shadeen Nation, Charisma Ramharak, Shakira Selman, and the West Indies Women A Team Squad reads. Rennie's Boyce is the captain. Shabika Ganjabi is the vice captain. Shanika Bruce. Cherry Ann Fraser. Janelia Glasgow. Shanita Grimond. Zeda James. Jafina Joseph. Kiana Joseph. Mandy Mangu. Kesia Schultz. Steffi Sugrim. Rachel Vincent, Rashada Williams. And we certainly want to wish both teams all the best. Speaking of squads, the Cricket West Indies selection panel announced the West Indies squad for the CG Insurance One Day International One Day Series against Australia. The squad features most of the players from the free to nil clean sweep over Sri Lanka in the CG Insurance One Day Series earlier this year. 
There are recalls for experienced left-arm fast bowler Sheldon Cutrell, Shimron Hetmeyer, the left-handed top-order batsman, and Ruston Chase, the right-handed all-rounder. The full squad reads Kyron Pollard captain, Shai Hope, Fabian Allen, Darren Bravo, Ruston Chase, Sheldon Cottrell, Shimron Hetmeyer, Jason Holder, Akhil Hussein, Alzari Joseph, Elvin Lewis, Evan Lewis, that is, Jason Mohammed, Anderson Phillip, Nicholas Puran, and Romario Shepard. Meanwhile, fans in St. Lucia will welcome the news that they will be able to see the T20 World Champions in action on the lights at the Darren Sammy Cricket Stadium. Fully vaccinated patrons will be again be allowed to attend the matches when defending T20 World Cup champions West Indies take on Australia. The five-match series bowls off tomorrow, Friday night. First ball is 7.30 p.m. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. Well, I'm back and tonight we feature horse racing. We go to the year 2014 and it's the Tourism Gold Cup. Let's take in this. Shake and trip. I'm going down to the center of the marker. And I'm Harley's one friend is down being waiting. 
And so, well, 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 I thought the big boys just went. I didn't realize this one is the one with all the hype. But I don't have anything, so I can take my time. Well, 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 I see some shots. See, let me just go all the plastic. I know I'm not sure you can say I'm so much fancy here. I was still with you, you know. Shut up.
And he's not going to choose. In his heart, whichever one he chooses, let him keep him in his heart. Don't tell us. So, race number one, the white flag is blowing. We have a nice breeze here this afternoon. The red flag and the white flags, they are blowing in this nice, gentle breeze. And so we await the start of race number one. Hope everyone is in position. It's the Tourism Gold Cup meet. And there, later on, the big boys will be running for the Gold Cup over some nine furlongs. Oh, that's a long one. And we will, we will have a new champion here this afternoon. Mr. Big Pepe won't be running, so we will crown a new champion. I'm Sherry. So, as they come out the block now, the flags are down. Gray, what's happening? That's three horses, okay. Gregos, great time. And got to get a rhythm as they come across the grandstand. Graham Lyman with his experience. Sean Henry with his grandstand. And great time as they go along the town. Nice and easy. Oh, we want to make sure this is nice. Nice and easy. Sean Henry showing an early head. And here comes Patrick Howell. And great time. Graham Lyman is trying to get a run. He's gonna have to be down here, but as the time to come up now, Sean Hanley and Patrick Howell as they pass the semi final marker to come up the hill for the final time. It's Sean Hanley, Patrick Howell, Sean Hanley, Patrick Howell as they come up the hill now. Sean Hanley and Patrick Howell, next to next, and Sean is shaking gear as they turn now. Patrick is making a run, but you gotta remember it's the first time on this track. It's going to take a little more than that. So, Sean Hanley and Jackie Jetta with him on the back end number three. Unofficial winner of race number one. And so, we are off to a good start. Well, well, well. At one time, I thought Patrick Howell was going to take it. But as he came down, it seemed like he slipped out of his gear. And Sean Hanley capitalized on that and move on. So, right, officially, so, we know voice number one. That's got to get away. Karina, how you feel about that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, did you select the baby? Take care of my people until race number two. We have the winner, Sean Hanley on Grain Time. Well, well, this is a six and a half furlong race. The race is not even official as yet. 
Well, the white flag is down, so it's just about now. They're starting. And as they come up the hill now, I can see Prem Lybird. He is on um, Tiny Twine. Big every time he's there with White Fism and Jacobs on board. Sean Hanley is there on Sheik Song. As a turn to come across the grandstand now, Tiny Twine, the outlaw tables. And here's Sean and Sheik Song. These two horses on the front are making the double round. And so as they go around the turn, out of the outlaw stables, that's big every time. Time. Here comes Tiny Twine out of Lyle to the game stable. Six out of the good boy stable. As they go across the back stretch now, here is where everything is going to be straightened up. Here comes Outlaw. Big every time is in the lead. Tiny Twine is there. Sean Hanley and Six out. As they approach a second and a half for the marker. To stay two and a half for the left to go. Who is going to take it? Dwight Beckham and Jacobs is on the front. And Big every time. Prem Lybert is on Tiny Twine in second place. Here comes Sean Hanley and Six Song as they end up back now. Here comes Sean. Tiny Twine. Who is going to take it? Ah, here comes Little Man is dropping back. Prem Lybert with 23 years of experience. Pull it out. Why is he the number one jockey? Dwight Little Man Jacobs, he's on big every time. They hold on to the second. So Hanley on Sheik Sam was struck up to the finish, but we'll see. It's gonna have a new winner. 
so Brazil is the start of the race number three and somehow I feel I'm gonna walk my way a little bit closer down the Venice. Yo, bash it, bash it, bash it, wow, wow. Man, give me back for you. Well, that's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, 
and sacrifice. Have a good night.